Sometimes I want to make calculations for every week in a year, and other times I want to make calculations for every month. But it is such a hassle in SQL. Any ideas? You are in luck. There is a new function in SQL Server called Date Bucket, and I think it is exactly what you are looking for. Great. How does it work? The date bucket function is a SQL function that groups a set of date time values into a specified time interval or bucket. For example, if you wanted to group a set of timestamps by month, you would use the date bucket function with the interval of one month. The function returns a new column containing the bucketed date time values. Cool. The date bucket function takes three arguments. The date part, the interval by which to group the data, and the date time column to be grouped. An optional fourth argument is the origin, which is the beginning date. Can you provide an example? Sure. Let's say you need a query that will list a ticker symbol and the average weekly closing price for each ticker symbol. Let's also say that the first day of the year is the origin. We want to get the average closing price for every week starting with the first day of the year for each ticker symbol. Here is the first day of the week. Here is where we define the date bucket to be week and then one week. Here is where we define the year to be 2020, and then we will order our answer by ticker symbol, and then by the first day of the week. This is a useful query to show the weekly average for each ticker symbol for every week of 2020. And here is the output of that query. Yes, that is the exact thing that I needed. Do you have another example? Sure. Let's say we want to list the first day of the month and the number of trading days for each month. We define the date bucket to be of type month right here. And the first day of the year is the starting point and the number of months is one. We will order it by ticker symbol and the date to see the number of trading days in each month. Here then is the output. Notice that there are 21 trading days in January, 19 trading days in February, 22 trading days in March. Not every month has the same number of trading days, so this is an interesting query. And to think this is a new function in SQL Server 2022. Wow, I can't believe how powerful it is. Thank you.